Okay. All right. So we did the powder, the primed. Now let's put some bullets and make some full ammunition. Okay. So we're ready to go. So we rough set this up um, by using loaded ammo here. Um, put the put the case in and run it up. Just kind of run the die down until it, it gets snug. And so we know that's close to our, our length there. So we just, it, it's close. Um, we'll fine tune it here in just a second. So there's a few ways to get this. Um, we have, for our projectiles, we have recommended um, cartridge overall length on, on our website. Um, there's your max um, cartridge overall length here for SAMI spec is 1.169 for the 90 millimeter. Um, if you look at the bullets, each bullet has their specific what they recommend. Um, one inch 100 on that one, one inch 75. Ours, we're doing a one inch 150 is what we'd like to run on ours. So we're going to put a case in, I'm gonna put a bullet on. We're gonna see one inch 1485. So we'll back it off just a little bit. We'll do the next one. It's a little bit long. I'm trying to walk it in a little bit closer. This is all thrilling and exciting, isn't it? So the one that you said that was a little short, can you still shoot that one? Yes. Um, I usually run, see like that one you can see, you know, there's a difference um, of, you know, plus or minus about three thousandths or so um, when you're loading these things because you're loading them, measuring them off the nose, there's a little bit of a, a variance in, in each bullet and so you'll end up with, they won't be perfect, but as long as they'll, they're, you know, that plus or minus three type thing, um, and you're, they'll go in your gun, you're not over that length, uh, no problem in shooting those. Okay. So these are all, at least the ones you loaded are good to go? Yep, those ones are all good to go. Um, we'll wrap up these next three real quick. And then after this, you want to use the Acura Outdoors Top Secret Huey shooting range? Um, well, first we got to crimp them. Oh. So for semi-automatic um, pistols and rifles, you like to crimp them. Bolt guns, you don't necessarily have to crimp. Um, but because these headspace off the mouth of the case, we don't want to crimp them really tight, but as they go up the feeder ramps, they can have a tendency to push the bullet if they're not crimped. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to set up a crimp pad. With loading a lot of rifle, I forget that we have to crimp. So what's the reason why you crimp on semi-automatic versus a bolt or revolver? Because as it goes up the feed ramps, the bullet can push. Oh, we just covered this. <laughs> I guess we'll cut that out. <laughs> uh, I was focusing on the video. You're too good. Much. You're good. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, so we run it down until it, it, it gets snug. And then we can fine fine tune it with this here. And I pre-measured the case. We're on three seven eight ish. And I like to put about two or three thousandths of crimp on. So we're gonna just kind of walk it in. And what's the proper tool for measuring round stuff? One of these fancy micrometer things. Okay. You don't want to use a caliper. You can, they're just not as precise. You gotta be careful with these. Um, they're a taper crimp, and they will 
kind of go all at once. Um, I, I do like the factory crib dies that Lee makes as well. Um, that are a collet system, those are nice. things in they uh, they will not act the same as something that's run through in one fell motion so when I get close I always like to grab the next one and now we're down to 375 so we started out 378 we're now 375 so feels like a pretty feels like it's taking the bell off and it's a pretty decent crimp so we'll grab our case checker really which good. here so this is uh, made by Lyman and it has the different calibers in there. So we drop it down in and see that it's nice and flush um, and it's going all the way down. So the crimp is good. There's not too much on it. In theory, this one should not fall all the way down and it does too. So, all right, we didn't put very much of a bell on it. Um, now that doesn't mean, you know, it's gonna be perfect for your gun. It's just a good starting point. You should always check them in, you know, in your barrel and stuff. Uh, once you get your dice set, and you're going to use the same press over and over again. I, you know, I would take and make sharpie marks on the die here and here, um, or something along those lines, so you know where to set it every time, so you don't have to go through this whole process every time. All right, so now we can go shooting. Now we can go shooting. My, my, my. <laughs> 